to you mainly about our uh, computer science program. So not so much generic information about the university, but obviously feel free to ask any questions um, about uh, uh, anything towards the end. So just the general overview, um, I think I'll focus mostly on our program. So what we offer, the general entry requirements, and then the kind of um, things that we think that make our degrees uh, stand out. Um, and just towards the end, there'll be a bit of general information about the university um, if you're not uh, aware of uh, things like location um, and how our campus looks. So uh, first things first. So today we're talking about computer science programs um, uh, at the University of Surrey. We have the Department of Computer Science. Um, it offers kind of uh, in terms of um, academic perspective, the, compu the purely computer science focused degrees are quite limited in the sense uh, that they are the traditional Bachelor of Science um, in Computer Science, uh, which is probably the most popular uh, degree of the department. Um, but we also offer the Bachelor um, in Computing and Information Technology. Now, the main difference, I would say, because this is something that we get asked a lot, uh, the, the Computer Science Bachelor uh, program is uh, probably designed more for those who are um, you know, in, in your third year, you start specializing in things like um, either artificial intelligence or um, security system or verification processes. So I feel like it's um, it's designed more for students who are more interested in purely coding or programming or um, software development, let's say. Whereas the computing and information technology um, undergraduate program also combines a few elements of business. Um, uh, students typically go to work in consultancies. There is still a lot of um, programming and coding going on as well um, uh, uh, during the computing um, and information technology bachelor. Uh, but there is also that added element of um, a bit of uh, a business perspective. Um, so perhaps, you know, analytics um, or roles like data analysis and general wor working in consultancy based um, roles. Um, then in terms of in terms of postgraduate offering again at the Department of Computer Science, um, our two main postgraduate programs are um, are hugely popular uh, data science uh, masters and also very, very popular information security masters. So um, the data science master's program um, can be done either in a year uh, or in two years uh, because you can also have a placement option with it. And I will come back to our placements um, in a bit. Uh, the information security can uh, at the moment can be only done in one year, so purely acad academic um, MSc. Now, so these were the kind of the, the purely Department of Computer Science um, programs. However, we do offer uh, degrees that are a combination of obviously computer science um, and engineering. Um, so we offer computer and internet engineering or electronic engineering with computer systems, and these are engineering degrees. So you are doing a BEng, a Bachelor of Engineering that we call. Um, and they also, um, there's also a various um, master's uh, level programs that are a combination, um, like software systems engineering, for example, which is a combination of computer science with engineering um, elements as well. So obviously, you know, I've put links in there, but I'm sure you guys know how to use the internet and check where um, these, these programs uh, on our website are located and there's more information about them online. Um, this section I'm gonna like skip through because Mousy and the team um, explained really well, you know, how the kind of application process works at the beginning <clears throat> of the session. Uh, but just to mention kind of to reiterate that obviously all of the undergraduate applications have to be done via UCAS, by the UCAS system. And then for our postgraduate programs, you apply directly um, from, from our website. And um, just to kind of uh, reiterate the fact that both undergraduate and postgraduate application processes typically include similar elements. You know, we will ask you about things like your personal details, um, your education and employment history, uh, a, a kind of like a personal statement for both undergraduate or postgraduate applications and references. And, um, in terms of what we are looking into assess your application uh, is 
definitely your educational background and we will ask you for you know original um and uh, official translation of your of your documents um especially in the case of postgraduate applications and um as was mentioned at the beginning of the session the personal statement is quite important as well because that's well, you, where you kind of explain to us why you want to um, study our programs and references um, as well. So moving on to entry requirements um, at the University of Surrey, um, typically uh, for our bachelor, um, so our undergraduate programs, we um, need an ABB, both for our Bachelor of Science as well as, as, well as our BEng, so Bachelor of Engineering programs. Um, ABB at A-level are obviously equivalent. Um, for our international students, we know that you guys do a range of qualifications and we accept a wide range of qualifications and there's a very detailed breakdown on the website according to the country, um, how uh, you need to do in order to, um, uh, what grades you need to have in order to be able to apply. Um, and then in terms of English language for our undergraduate programs, we typically ask for a six uh, with 5.5 in each element. Uh, whereas for the master's programs, um, we ask for a minimum of two to uh, UK honors degree or equivalent, obviously, if you've studied somewhere else. And then the IELTS requirement would be a 6.5 overall with six in writing and 5.5 in everything else. So that was kind of a general overview of our program offering. Um, and now I think it's kind of the more interesting part as to why um, we think uh, our computer science department is so great and why we think you should be um, studying with us. Uh, so firstly, I think very important to mention is that uh, our uh, researchers and the, the uh, content, the module content that um, you will be learning is obviously updated by the industry and our researcher, researchers as well as academics look into a wide range of cutting edge topics and you can see on the screen just some of them. Uh, obviously artificial intelligence is massive and our researchers are looking into it as well. The internet of things but also machine learning is becoming so popular. Um, things like formal verification, um, blockchain, uh, we are looking and researching in all of these things, all of these areas, and our um, academics are leading experts in these areas. Um, so students will be using language, um, coding languages um, and tools, as you can see on the screen, there's a wide variety of these. Um, some of them you will have to have uh, some prior experience of, some of them you can learn um, um, from the beginning um, at the university. So. Uh, the wide range of topics that you will be looking into um, at the University of Surrey and the fact that you will be taught by um, leading experts in those fields is definitely something that we think uh, will give you an advantage when um, later graduating or perhaps um, doing a PhD. Um, I will show you a very short video of our um, brand new um, multi-purpose lab. <laughs> Okay, let me just make sense of that. Oops, yeah, great. So um, we did invest um, in 2019 in a brand new, brand new um, lab and brand new facilities for our computer science students. Um, shortly after we had the pandemic, um, so I feel like not that many students had the chance to really take advantage of these amazing facilities. Um, and you know, if you are, are somehow able to. Um, uh, visit us on campus, then you should definitely come um, on an open day or for a bespoke campus tour, and we can definitely show you around. Um, the next thing that I wanted to mention in terms of what distinguishes um, Surrey um, and our computer science degrees is our um, amazing work placement opportunities. So um, our uh, placement service was awarded as best university placement service uh, for a third year in a row. Uh, you can see on the slide just some of the employers that we um, uh, send our uh, students for an internship year. Um, and, you know, 
we work with massive companies um, and it, it will depend on the students. Some students prefer going to very big companies like you know Sony or Cisco, whereas there are other students who um, wouldn't mind going for like a small family run business and um, looking into their kind of IT uh, side of things. But uh, with work placements, what um, I wanted to reiterate is that with undergraduate programs, uh, we offer work placements for all of our undergraduate programs. So um, all of the computer related um, uh, uh, programs, you can have an extra year um, in your studies between your second year and your third year, what, which would be counted as a, a professional training year, um, as a placement year. And you have amazing support from our careers and employability team um, in order to secure a placement. Um, we have an application called the Surrey Pathfinder uh, that students have access to and they can browse um, internship opportunities. And, you know, these can be paid or unpaid depending on you know what you're looking for. And um, there's just amazing support for all of our um, students who want to do this. Um, and about 40% of our students who go to do a placement year um, actually have a job offer uh, when they come back from their placement. So if if you're looking to kind of boosting your um, employability in the future, this is definitely um, an amazing option. Um, in terms of postgraduate uh, degrees, as I said, data science currently is the only one that we have um, with placement opportunity. And stemming from that, definitely um, very important uh, to mention is that we have been named as the University of the Year for Graduate Employment. Um, and we're very proud of that. And I think it is partly because of our um, amazing careers and employability service. They ran um, two massive fairs, like um, employability fairs for our students, where a range of employers come and exhibit and give students um, opportunity to um, ask questions how to apply, you know, how to be successful uh, when applying to their company. Um, but the employability team itself, you know, they offer so many um, uh, resources and tools for our students um, to be able to succeed in job applications. Um, it's uh, actually amazing. And uh, I kind of strongly urge uh, all of our international students to take advantage of the system. Um, I feel that maybe, I'm not sure, in depending on the country where you're from, not all universities in the world have this amazing um, service. So definitely take advantage of the careers and employability service um, uh, that are offered by universities and not just as sorry, as you've heard from um, all UK universities. So you can see on the screen some of the jobs that our students have gone on to, but there is very detailed st student profiles online that you can see where they went to work, how they enjoyed their studies, um, how they've succeeded. Um, uh, when you, if if you're interested, in, I'm sorry, definitely check this out. And just to finish off um, with the basics, um, for those of you who don't know where the University of Surrey is based, uh, we are located in Guildford, um, which is um, a lovely town um, about 34 minutes by train from London Waterloo in the southeast of England. Um, and we are a campus based university, as you can see. So this is our main campus. Um, our, our computer science students have their main academic facilities on this campus. Um, and you can see there's a range of other facilities um, on our Stag Hill campus, um, along with accommodation. But we have a second major campus as well called Manor Park. And this is, we have even more accommodation um, rooms as well as an amazing sports facility called, called the Surrey Sports Park um, um, and other facilities as well. So, I think that was it for me in a nutshell. Hopefully it didn't take too much time, but looking forward for your questions um, later on. Thank you.